What's up guys and welcome to today's video. So today is oil change day for this bad girl right here. And luckily for us, we got a new sponsor to help us out with that. So before we get started with all the unboxing guys, um, real quick, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has supported me so far and welcome to all the new viewers. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button because it helps reach more and more people every day. So it helps out a ton. I'm a shirt. Oh, yeah, I got. Oh. Way back to. Oh, I'll show it. Okay. Nice. It's your favorite shirt? Yeah. All right, guys. So, in case you guys haven't heard of blood lubricants, they are very well known in the off-roading community. Um, so you'll see a lot of people that do uh, dirt biking and uh, four wheeling and stuff like that. They'll be uh, using these products a lot. So yeah, go check them out. They have a website. They have their IG where they post a lot of cool stuff. Um, a lot of their sponsored riders and stuff. So yeah, go check them out and show them some love because they're helping us out. So we got to return the favor, right? All right, so this time, I got my trusty box cutter here. We're gonna go from biggest box to smallest box. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This one is actually really heavy. So let's open it up. All right, so we got some little, uh, tops for some of the bottles that are provided as you can see here it's full of bottles um, we have oil see, blood racing um, like I said they do a lot of uh, UTV auto truck and off-road stuff and what's cool about these people is it's called blood racing lubricants and the oil inside is actually red, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, they sent me some of those, and they also sent me some uh, some gear oil, 75, 90 gear oil, so shout out to them for sending me all this stuff. On to box number two. got some some uh, degreaser over here so it's a blood racing bloodline degreaser it's a kick ass so we know it's gonna be good everything comes nicely packed too this is some penetrating oil, so kind of like uh, you know when you use WD-40 or PB Blaster. I'm gonna be using this from now on. And I got two of those. And I got this cool blood lubricant shirt. Be repping the brand and last but not least the smallest box Let's see. Let's see what we got Ooh. we got some nice big stickers so that's pretty cool. Some more stickers. And we got a hat. So that's cool. I don't normally wear hats, but uh, shout out to them. <laughs> I might start wearing them now. So, like I said, guys. Help me show them some love. They're all over the web and they're very active on Instagram as well. So make sure you go follow them. And now let's 
get to doing the oil change. So the bike hasn't gotten a lot of use ever since its last oil change. Um, just a few short rides here and there. So I won't be doing the oil filter. I know a lot of people do it every other oil filter, uh, every other oil change. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Some people even go as far as doing it every third oil change. Um, I think that's too much. That's you know pushing it so I won't be doing that I'm just gonna start doing it every other for now but if you do it every oil change that does not hurt you know if anything it makes everything better so I just don't have one on hand right now so I don't feel like going to the store and getting one so we're just gonna do the oil so I will give you the list of parts you need to do this job minus a little eight millimeter socket that you would need to get to these bolts here to do the uh, oil filter. So basically, obviously you need your oil. You need something to measure, unless you're a wizard, because <laughs> you need a 0.6 of a quart to do this bike. You need a ratchet, an extension. This is optional. I just do it for comfort um, because it's kind of tight, you know, when you're back there. Um, so that you need a 12 millimeter socket something to catch your oil on and a narrow tip funnel to put it inside your fill right there all right so first things first you want to take this fill cap off right here sorry it was really hard didn't mean to yell <laughs> so you take this off because you don't want to create a vacuum in the system and you know once you take this off the oil will drain freely so take this off first and then you can start draining it So I have it draining right now, so I just have to wait until it just starts dripping every couple seconds and then I'll know it's all out of the system. So I'm just gonna give it some time, then we'll put the oil drain plug back in and we'll get filling. letting it lean more to the right it had already started dripping but now that I leaned it to the right it's a little bit of a steadier stream so I'm gonna do that for a little bit and then I'm gonna put it up right there's an annoying fly in here making so much noise sorry if the microphone is catching it all right so now it's just doing a little drop every couple seconds, so it's good to go. Just put it back in. Let's see if I can find the hole, yep. And you always wanna hand tighten these first, cause you never wanna cross thread these. Or you never wanna cross thread anything, but these especially. And you just want to go until it's nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten these either. So now that it's all drained, I can put the stand back on it. And I'm gonna go look for some brake cleaner.
want to clean the area you were just working on. So we're going to put our funnel in here and then we have to measure six quarts or 0.6 quarts, sorry. And it's roughly like 19 ish ounces. So I like going a little over cause you never get every last drop out of these things. So, and like I said, we're going to be using this oil. Here's the back side of it. Like I said, you can find them on their website, buyblood.com or on Instagram and Twitter. Looks like blood. Now we can take our oil, I was about to say blood, we can take our blood oil and pour it into the engine. Always hold the funnel, not all the way down, keep it a little high because if you put it all the way down, um, it's not going to come out of the funnel that soon and you could start leaking. and just pour it in there really slow. All right, so now the last thing to do is put the oil cap slash dipstick in, screw it in tight, and you are done. So we're gonna fire her up and probably take it for a little test rip. so that's gonna do it for this video like I said go show the guys over at blood racing some love because they provide us with all this stuff so go check out their website their Instagram their Twitter blow them up obviously with good stuff <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because it helps way more than you know and as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas